Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, Keith Thurman is now going to fight Luis Colazzo, right, in a big-time dust-up at welterweight. Now, just understand, styles make fights. Colazzo, a southpaw who's a little bit slow-footed, who's a master chess player in the pocket, is very similar to Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Keith Thurman, against the Ghost, showed that he knew exactly how to move in and out and how to lead with power shots, straight right hands, right? He showed early. He knew exactly how to handle Robert the Ghost Guerrero. In fact, if you look at that fight, in my opinion, the early rounds are dominated by Keith Thurman. I think Keith Thurman is the pick over Luis Colazzo, right? Colazzo's 34 years old. Colazzo's not going to be able to follow Keith Thurman around the ring. Thurman is a slugger, but he's mobile. He knows how to fight in kind of an ambush style. Look at the angles, too, in his fight against Robert the Ghost Guerrero. He doesn't take the ghosts on straight on. He's over here at an angle, right, setting it up so the ghosts would have a hard time reaching him with his left hand, while Thurman would have an easier time throwing a straight right hand. Right, Thurman's style does well against southpaws, especially slow southpaws. Right, I don't believe Thurman can hang in the pocket with Luis Galazzo. Nor do I believe Amir Khan can hang in the pocket with Luis Galazzo. Amir Khan was able to beat Galazzo by using length and movement. I think Keith Thurman is going to be able to do the same thing. Right? A guy who can jump in with power shots and who hits as hard as Keith Thurman does. In an event like this, this is going to be the debut of the PBC on ESPN. Right? Just understand the politics involved. Keith Thurman is the star in this fight. Let's talk further. Let's talk about the politics of scoring. Right? Keith Thurman is the guy with the faster foot speed. Keith Thurman is the guy who will be able to dictate when the parties engage. Now, if Luis Colazzo tries to be on his back foot, in other words, if he tries to suck Thurman into the pocket so he could outbox him, right? Just understand that if Thurman doesn't bite at the bait, Colazzo is going to have a hard time winning rounds on the judges' scorecards because Colazzo is going to look like the passive, right? So when it gets too hot in the pocket for Thurman, who's the puncher between these two, Thurman will be able to simply back out, right? He doesn't have to stay in the pocket and engage against Luis Colazzo. So I like Thurman here. I think he has the more judge-friendly style. I think he's the political pick here. I think ESPN is expecting Thurman to continue to look like a star. I also think he has the style that matches up well with Luis Colazzo because Colazzo is a mirror image, really, of a recent Thurman opponent. Right, So I like Keith Thurman big here over Luis Colazzo. I think Thurman is going to continue to do his run toward dominance in boxing. Let me say this too. Floyd Mayweather wants to come back in September. Right, If Floyd holds to that date, right, just understand that the odds of his next opponent being Keith Thurman have diminished greatly with the announcement of this Luis Colazzo fight. Right? Thurman just wouldn't have enough time, quite frankly, unless he gets an early KO over Colazzo, to then prepare to fight Floyd Mayweather, the toughest opponent of his career. 
right? So just keep that in mind as you think about what Floyd's going to do next and who's available to fight Floyd in September. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.